When it opens in 2028, the Brenner Base Tunnel will form the world's longest underground rail link. Crews are digging two high-speed rail tubes and an exploratory tunnel that will travel 64 kilometers, more than a kilometer underneath the Alps between Austria to Italy. They are right now uh, installing uh, behind me the last part, servicing uh, the uh, um, backup for the Virginia TBM. The Virginia TBM is the 10.5 diameter TBM that we'll be excavating from here for about 12 kilometers to the north all the way to the border with Austria. Uh, we have a twin TBM that is already operating in the West Tunnel. It started operation about a month ago and that is also running towards the border. The TBMs that we have, uh, all three TBMs, we have two large ones and, and another smaller one. Uh, it's about 6.5 diameter TBM in the pilot tunnel. They are all double shield TBMs. That means that they can excavate and install the lining at the same time. Uh, what we saw in the uh, west tunnel was uh, the uh, installation of a ring uh, with precast segments that come over by train and then they're placed on an, uh, a reactor that placed them in, in place in the tail shield. Uh, that operation is possible because of, uh, during excavation because the double shield TBM has side grippers. So the side grippers will keep the uh, TBM connected and, and firm to the rock mass while, uh, while the um, cutter head bores the rock mass and at the same time in the back we can install a ring. As long as the rock is good enough we can actually grip with the side grippers and uh, make an installation go. Otherwise if the rock is not, is not good enough to withstand the pressure of the grippers we will have to retract the grippers and then excavate in single mode. So a double shield TBM can alternate actually the phase of excavation and, and lining insta installation uh, as well as do it at the same time. So it's a pretty, uh, you know, dynamic and uh, functional machine for that, for that purpose. We found a lot of faults. Uh, this, uh, the extension of this, uh, of this uh, tectonized section was uh, longer than expected, more than 1,000 meters uh, in comparison with uh, 600, 500 meters uh, forecast at the very beginning by our designers and by our uh, geologists. Uh, but the number of liters per second encountered and uh, diverted was uh, lower than expected and th the water, uh, the presence of water is something very, very important while excavating a tunnel. My desire is uh, to uh, monitor to share and to share the unit and the global costs sustained during the construction of the Brenner Base Tunnel. At the end, we uh, should know something more about uh, costs, of course, construction methods, rock, rock mechanics, uh, and, and so on. One of the project's biggest construction challenges is near the southern entrance of the tunnel where it passes underneath the Asarco River. We have to underpass the Isark. The underpassing of the Isark will be done uh, with the artificial ground freezing technique. In order to do that, we needed to construct four shafts. We can see the four shafts in the back. The shafts are 25 meters deep. The alluvial soil has uh, uh, an underground aquifer. So one of the most challenging issues in this time is the construction of tunnels within the alluvial soil in presence of water. In order to do that, we have the artificial ground freezing for the underpassing of the ice arc and uh, excavation with the ADECO method in other part of, uh, of the construction site. At both ends of uh, the construction site, we have uh, the bricks and granite. In that part, we, are, we, ha we have partly excavated uh, at south and we will excavate at north with the traditional drill and blasting technique, so with the use of, uh, of explosive. We are on schedule at the moment, uh, and as far as the Italian side is concerned, we are within the budget. 